How's it going everyone? Be humbled here and welcome back to some more Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode we got the Fuse ability and we're on our way to the third shrine so let's get going. Uh, I'm really hoping we can get to the third one today. Because that would be amazing. Looks like we do go through another tunnel. I'm really curious to like what the next ability is going to be. Like, I feel like I definitely would not have been able to guess any of the abilities. So I was like, oh, guess the abilities you're going to get <laughs> in um, Tears of the Kingdom. Absolutely no idea. Can I shoot you in the apple? Oops. Okay, that did a lot of damage. Um, <laughs> that's a whole crate. So I have equipped right now. I suppose I think I'm about to Let's equip you. Uh, I thought there was another bow somewhere, but all right. There's the chest. I doubt it's gonna be a piece of armor, but it'd be pretty sweet if it was. <laughs> Let's grab those arrows. I need to, whoops. I need this, don't I? Oh, look at all those arrows, okay. Wow, they really give you the gemstones early in this game. I, I feel like I didn't get opal or any of those stuff until like much later in like Breath of the Wild. Oops. Okay, now I have more wood. Put that away. Nope. All right, what are we doing here? So I feel like can I need that. I feel like I'm gonna need this. <laughs> uh, what are these things though? <laughs> Discovery. <laughs> Mining cave. Okay. Oh, that's dark in there. Hmm. Wonder if I need to use those uh bright whatever these things are, <laughs> bright bloom seeds on a weapon of sorts. Oops. Hold. So how do I, I am curious, like, hold, if I drop that, 
and say I want to attach it to this sword. What does this do? Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It just attaches the whole thing there. Oh, ouch. Ooh, giant seed. So I probably need to swap to something that can destroy this. Where can I not? Oh, I just have to go. Okay. So using the sword, if you attach it, is um, will only just plant it on what you hit it to. Okay. This cave is especially dark. You will need light in order to proceed uh, to the mining site ahead. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? I do. What a relief. You would not otherwise be able to see anything as you proceed. Bright bloom seeds grow primarily in caves. There was once a time where they grew here as well. You mean like the one in front of you? <laughs> this cave has been mostly picked clean of them. That is because it is especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. My associates often forget to bring bright bloom seeds, so I am posted here to provide a reminder. Use them to light your way if you're proceeding ahead. Watch your step. That looks... These plants look really fuzzy. Okay. So how does that work, though? So I gotta do this again. Do I have to go into the menu every time to do this? Uh, drop. Um, let's use this again, I guess. So do I just hit it on the ground? All right, and I guess that's what you had to do. Just gotta plant them, I guess. I see some rock here. Ooh, ooh, Zoa, Zoa Knight. Oh, crafting armor. Oh, I can craft more. Okay. So it's just dark in here, so do I have to do this again? <laughs> Can I just do... I guess I could drop... And then... <laughs> this is slightly hard to do. Um, okay. Do that. Ooh. So let's break these, I guess. Let's oh. grab as much of this as I can because I have a feeling I'm gonna maybe need this for like crafting purposes. I feel like they're alluding that I can probably uh, craft things soon. So do that. Oops. Oh, dark in there. Uh, seems a little ominous. Slightly ominous in here. Do that. Oops. I'm so sorry. I'm. It's gonna take me so long to get used to these controls. <laughs> oh, it's a friendly, friendly one. No, I 
get a rock on the end of my stick. So I wonder if when you fuse things together, does that reset the kind of like durability the item has? I don't know if they went into that at all yet or if they haven't said anything about that yet. This looks interesting. Hum. Apologies for not noticing you. I was uh, focused on pressing zonite. Oh, are you unfamiliar with it? This is a zonite I mentioned. It is a unique mi mineral that can be mined for uh, far beneath the land below. There is a trace deposits of this in the island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing the substance into other materials. Zonite is processed by smithing it in a furnace. It is therefore converted into materials with useful purposes. A few uh, materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Oh. Oh. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sorts of minerals the ores can be processed into. Oh, of course. Uh, zonite technology is typically powered by zonite charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful minerals in this way is called processing. Zonite chargers are what power zonite devices and constructs. A charge can be consumed, or can be yeah, charge can be consumed to replenish your cell energy. Uh, sure, crystallized chargers are solidified form of zonite charges. We mainly use them as raw material in the construction of energy cells. Oh, please visit any time required process materials. Oh, you literally have to exchange for them. Uh, said to be used for energy cell improvement. Um, I'll take three for now. So wait, can you process stuff for me? Design is processed by smithing into a furnace. Is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. To um, all right. Is there anything else? Oops. Nope. All right. I guess I can't do anything with you yet. Oh, I see a ton of stuff over here. Though, hold, hold up. I can see. All right, let's grab all this, I guess. Sorry, I'm about to take all your stuff. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? I've not given permission to take those. Mm -hmm. Could it be that you have forgotten to bring the Zonai capsules? You have forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonai capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. Oh, it's unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. <laughs> this feels like... It was like um, old uh, machines where you had to put like 25 cents in to get the toy. <laughs> it, this feels like that. <laughs> the ones I gave you are fan types. You can deploy them at any time. They will generate in the wind when struck. Zone devices are useful and come in many varieties. I always carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I... Keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Uh, take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before you're deploying one for your pouch. Ah, uh, I see what they mean now though. It seems I have to do this. 
materials and so I've been doing them oh hey all right gonna rotate this My goodness. Not what I thought when I we were gonna do this. Okay. Oh, so this is where this leads. I really hope this gets us to the uh, next shrine. Oh, still so far away. Oh, hey friend. Turn that off. The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. It also pay, uh, played in a part of our traditional ceremonies in a way. This place, uh, it was this place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of the bell stir fond memories in me. Alright, you just go walk down memory path, I guess. <laughs> Oh, what are you? I feel like I'm about to gamble or something. <laughs> Device dispenser operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zonite capsule production target. Oh, do you want to use the device dispenser? I have nearly met my target. I've nearly met my target. You're welcome to use it. Yes, this is a device dispenser. It produces zonic capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts um, things are such as construct horns and zonite charges. You can process resources that hold uh, you hold by process. Uh, you can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It is similar to using a cooking pot. Sure, zonic capsules are portable zonite devices in convenient pocket form. I also feel like this is like Pokemon. <laughs> a device cannot be put back in its capsule after you have removed it. Uh, they are intended to be disposable. Uh, they are also plentiful. You can ex uh, extract many Zone A capsules from a single device dispenser. There is no harm in converting your spare resources into Zone A capsules. It ensures you will always have a few. Oh, I've lost track of times. It seems I missed the time bell. I will suspend my activities for now, but the dispenser remains available until used. So... Do I put them in there? Just grab these quick. Someone tells me I have to bring the thing over there. Um, but, okay, let me, oh, no, 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 no link, hey, hey, put that back. Fan. I think I said... Charges and horns, right? This would be easier. Hold. So let's see what happens. Are these empty or are they gonna have devices in them already? Oh my goodness. A fan. A pot! Oh, I'll take it pots. Flame emitter. Oh, uh, I'm gonna do 
do a little bit more here. Got some parts. Oh my gosh. Wow. Anything new? Fan, fan, flame emitter, pot. Um, okay, I'm gonna do this one more time. <laughs> He's so happy. All right, nothing new. But, okay, that is cool. Can I mark this on my map or something? Okay. It's marked on the map already, okay. Tells you what you can have available, so. Lots of fans, lots of flame emitters, which we haven't used yet, and lots of pots. <laughs> Um, right, before we do that, oh, another, another guy. Oh, my friend and I got separated. <laughs> okay, let me try this and actually do this the correct way. My friend is sending like a smoke signal, can't move, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how does this work? I can pick him up. Okay, that's, that's how that worked. <laughs> okay, grab him in a sec. Do you want to check this out over here quick? Is there anything over here that would be useful? Oh, fish. Oh, there's a whole nother cave over here. Oh, what are you? You just hiding away in here? Pit cave. Excuse me, the snowy mountains above us are, are extremely cold. Unprepared travels were swift to lose Mary and many even die. Are you fortified against the cold? Insufficient preparations can lead to death in harsh environments. Alright, just tell it as it is. My advice can avert this. Please listen carefully. The primary safeguards used in our, uh, by our creators were meals that warmed them. These meals were typically prepared using ingredients with warm sounding names. Any such ingredients will suffice. Some also wear thick clothes or warm themselves by fire. These solutions were effective but less accessible. Be mindful of your ingredients when cooking. My understanding is that only one cooking effect can apply per meal. You must take care to eat something with a different effect afterward. Do not eat something. The chill will set in again sooner than you expect. So something tells me I'm probably going to be going up the mountain soon. Get some bants. Oops. I didn't want to do that. Okay. So I, am I supposed to be going up this way or is this like a no-no? Oh. Could I just have thrown these to make them stick instead of me having to fuse into my sword? Lol. <laughs> Spicy peppers. Oh, is that it up here? I guess that'd be it. Alright, let me get out of this cave. I mean, that was a good... Good little sidetrack there. Gosh, I have to say, this place is so pretty. Spicy peppers. Oh, that's the uh, that's the cold path they warned me about. So I think, oops, I assume it is up there. I do need to get my friend from. I think this is the rails I was just looking at. Yeah, let me let me do the Korok thing really quick. All right, got that there. Grab you. <laughs> Wait, can I attach him to the? 
I can attach him. Oh my gosh, I won't be that mean, but... Oh, chill, you're fine. He's like, uh -huh. Turn that off. Oh. Why is this going down? Why are you going backwards? Grab you, I guess. Grab you, put you over there, I guess. Um, the only thing is, like, this thing is gonna... We're out of battery soon. Okay. Probably was a smarter way of doing that, but it's okay. <laughs> I want that in case I get... <laughs> yeah, there's your friend! I don't want to get stranded. We're gonna hide at last, thanks! I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. I will take multiple Korok seeds. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I will take all the arrows too. So many arrows. <laughs> uh, I see the chest there. Just grabbing everything else. Alright, just more crafting stuff. Uh, what else is over here? What else we got going on? Uh, minecart up there, that makes sense. Okay, so let me grab my cart. Put you up there. Put myself up here in a sec. So is this going to be immediately in the cold if I get up there? Do I need to like make fire real quick? <laughs> Oops. Uh, actually, is there fire by the Koroks over there? No, they got no fire. What is this pot though? That was just... Okay, it's just a pot. Um, I guess I should cook something and eat it. Let's see how this works. Oh, it's just immediately... That is so convenient. I can pick this up. Oh, that is so convenient. Um, okay, so what do I want to do? Do like two of those. Was it the fish and the meat, I think, from the previous game that made a spicy stew? It's my only fish. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's a one use only. Oh, okay. Well, let me get up there then and use it. Get on this. Wait. Oh, oh! Huh. Okay. What am I supposed to do about that now? <laughs> so it's gonna run out. Do I need to like... How 
How do I fix that? How do I fix a rail? Do I have to go back down? Maybe I just have to go back down the way I came. This is super confusing. <laughs> I don't see anything that would be usable to fix it. Do this, I guess. We'll stay in there, Link. <laughs> guess I'll do that and just go up the way I was going to before. Ouch. Oh, actually, do you have fire in here? You do. Okay, I'm gonna just cook a couple things first and then make my way to the snowy area. Okie dokie, I have a couple dishes prepared. So, this is the least amount of time. Let's eat that first. And see, I guess, where this takes me. I have to like climb up, I guess. I like how you can see the uh, amount of cold resistance. Oh. That's a new mechanic, okay. Wait, how am I supposed to get up there? <laughs> also, what is this? So wait, how am I supposed to get up if that's too hard to climb? Oh, I'm so confused now. <laughs> Oh, I'm confused. <laughs> Maybe there was something with the dude? The Korok dudes? That to fix something? I am perplexed. <laughs> oh. Oh, you can actually climb up through here. Okay, so there was more of a way up that I just didn't see before. Oh, so misty. Uh, where is this temple? Shrine? Uh, basically straightforward? Oh, I guess the clouds are obscuring it. Where's the meat? Where the meat? I wonder if it can get frosted if you leave it out enough. Probably can. I heard something. Heard something rustling. Where is it? Oh, it's down there. Mm, let me go get those guys in a sec. Let me just grab some spice peppers. There's a little cave over there too. If I can like. <laughs> oh, my cold resistance. they give me armor or something soon that lets me just, you know, like, be weather resistant. Oh, there's chili. Oh, yeah, you take them out. Ooh, 
They fight him back. Oh! Oh, he is a flamethrower. Stay far back from you as possible. Because you just lit everything up on fire. Oh, they turned into fire choo choo stuff. Ooh, a flame emitter. Ooh, flame emitter club? Hold, hold up. A wooden stick, get out of here. Oh, not, not you. Uh, I think my boat's about to go out though, so we should change this out. Yeah. Take the new one. There's a little thing over here. What's be in here? Discovery. Bottomless cape. Bomb flower. Oh. Oh, hello. what those things are. They kind of look like... Was it the something on the mountain from the previous game? Oh, that's kind of cool. But I assume I have to climb all the way up here. What the heck is that? sad about that. Um. I didn't know what I did there, but okay. Rusty help. Like, like, still. Ooh, a chest in there. Just opal. Alright, well, that was an experience. Um, maybe I need to throw the bomb flowers at that thing. <laughs> oh, do I have a weapon attached? Oh, I do, okay. else we got going on here? I really hope we get to the temple soon. Looks like we're pretty close. Oh, another one of you. Yeah, open wide. Open wide! Come on! You know you want. You spit out your own chest. Uh, I like how I'm still opening it even though it's completely upside down. <laughs> Alright, and what are you? Yep. Uh, I guess that's me where the flame emitter is now coming to handy. Maybe. 
very close to the shrine, apparently. Is it just up? I think so. Come on, can I get at least to the front of the shrine in this episode? Give me that choo-choo. Come on, at least let me get to the entrance of the shrine over here. Can I do that? So close. Oh my god, there's so many things. Oh, there's like a whole sentry bot over there. Yeah, how am I supposed to get up there if I can't? Yeah, wait, how do I get up there? <laughs> hmm. It's gonna be a way for me to get up, but I guess I'll have to find it in the next episode, since this episode is probably pretty long already, so... We will continue our adventure to the shrine then. Thank you guys for watching and remember to stay kind and be humbled.